Good evening once again. Fox 5 is your local election headquarters and we are staying on top of the latest in the race for the 80th Assembly District, which is the seat previously held by Lorena Gonzalez. Here are the latest results and the last ones that we will see for tonight. It is a tight race between former San Diego City Councilman David Alvarez and former San Diego City Council President Georgette Gomez with 14% of the votes being reported. Alvarez has a slight lead with 38% of the vote and Gomez has about 37%. Fewer than 500 votes separate the two. Republican Lincoln Picard has 24% of the vote. Mail-in ballots are still being counted. The next update with election results will come on Thursday at 5 p.m. Now, if you're not familiar, this particular district covers Chula Vista, the second largest city in our county, National City, and parts of San Diego seen on this map. And Fox 5 has team coverage on this election tonight. Our Salvador Rivera is covering the Gomez campaign, and our Phil Blauer explains how we got here to this special election and what comes next. But we begin with our Jamie Chambers, who's covering the Alvarez campaign. Jamie. Kathleen, it was a boisterous crowd that was here celebrating David Alvarez's jump into the lead, at least for now, but they were thrilled with his performance in this early section of the elections because he didn't raise quite as much money as his, his other serious uh, opponent, Georgette Gomez, in this. But they said that his secret sauce was walking from house to house and his relentless handshakes and really meeting the public over these last few decades really working out. And they say that the numbers explain that well. Former council member David Alvarez was greeted by supporters to cheers as his campaign seems to have secured a place in the June 7th runoff election vying for the 80th district assembly seat. The voters really responded well to our positive message. Uh, you know, being in first place when at the beginning the Sacramento polls and the insider said I wouldn't even be, you know, in the top two is just great news. I feel really, uh, really great and people are excited and we had a uh, great date today and I think it's going to turn out to be better. The Alvarez campaign was blitzed by negative ads, but Alvarez says he wanted to show his kids a positive campaign can get through. We decided to be positive the entire campaign to offer the voters a vision of what their Sacramento politicians and leaders can look like. And we kept to that uh, to the very end. Now Alvarez says he's focused on the June 7th runoff and urgent issues facing his community. San Diego and this district is hurting. Uh, the gas prices are impacting us. We need some relief now. So it's going to be a sprint for these last two months into that June 7th runoff. So it, it's going to be a very short amount of time for these campaigns really to get going. Uh, they are going to continue to run since the special election. And we're going to hear from both of these candidates, David Alvarez, Georgette Gomez, on the morning show. So stick around. You'll see us early in the morning. We'll have them live to discuss what the numbers look like and what they plan on doing moving forward. That's the very latest from Barrio Logan, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. And as you reported, it sounds like this is just the first chapter of this particular, particular election. Thank you so much, Jamie. Georgette Gomez was confident she would win outright this evening and not have to face a runoff. Nevertheless, she is feeling pretty optimistic. We're told that she will be the next assembly person for California's 80th district. Fox 5 Salvador Rivera has been following Gomez all evening and is live in National City tonight with more on her reaction to the election results so far. So. Kathleen, from about 7 till about 10.15 this evening, Georgette Gomez was here at her campaign headquarters in National City. She was surrounded by supporters, and together they watched the election results. And although she finds herself in a very tight race, she told supporters she is very optimistic and confident that she will win this runoff election against David Alvarez come June 7th. I'm excited by all the support we earned in every part of South County. I have a strong feeling that numbers will get even stronger for our campaign. And make no mistake, in the runoff election, voters are going to have a stark choice before them between real change to make San Diego more affordable for working families. This is the community where I was born and raised. 
and it is the community I've always stood up for at Environmental Health Coalition and on San Diego City Council. I believe in our community because I believe that government can do good and should do good for our people and that's why I'm doing this because everybody here deserves a better place, a better community, a better job. Let's do this, right? Let's do it. Earlier today, Gomez told us she is very tired from the grind of the, on the campaign trail, but now she will have to go another couple of months through June 7th. We're here live in National City, Salvador Rivera, Fox 5 News. And